Hello YouTube. So let's learn with a little bit of help from Python how to grab specific primary IP address from domain. So you have domains like Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever, and you're trying to get that primary uh, address of that service that is uh, pointing toward you, okay? Because many many websites many services they they have backup ip addresses uh, especially if they are really big and if there is a lot of money behind it so yeah uh, domain in this case will be google and what we need to do is import socket in python socket module and from socket module if you go to check documentation you will see that uh, it will, so this command, this option will translate a host name to IP version 4 address format. So we are talking about version 4 uh, IPs. Uh, the address is returned as a string, so think about converting to something else if you need it. And uh, yeah, what's interesting here. So see get host by name uh, underscore ex for a more complete interface and get address info should be used instead of instead for ip6 dual stack support but that's you know that's not the topic of this tutorial so let's just flow with ip4 yeah so let's print the result of our operation so every time when you're reporting something um, without handle you know as s for example you will of course just state that module and then you will call something inside of that module which will be get host by name okay so four parts get host by name that's really important because things can look a little bit similar if you're a beginner especially when you're reading documentation so that can be a lot to remember just split those commands uh, not just socket commands any commands in, in documentation if you can two parts and then you will maybe remember them better so yeah get host by name ne you need to provide it to it uh, string here so through variable or directly now we're gonna just type dom here and uh, yeah that's that's about it so let's save and run our script and there you go well this is at least IP address of Google as I can see it from my network uh, so question is can we you know grab uh, that from keyboards show sure. I mean you can practice uh, a lot here so in this case we'll grab domain from keyboard uh, yeah input enter domain and that's pretty much it let's run it enter domain bing sorry just a second bing and that's it now question can you create this script uh, to be all present uh, to run all the time well let's try to do that with um, with while loop for example while true while True mean that means always. Let's run that always because true is always true. So let's run it. Uh, yeah, and then we will print that. And uh, if uh, what we are entering through keyboard is equal to just Q, then we will just uh, break from script and print something like done done I think that I'm fine let's run it enter domain and another one and another one blah 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 and think works you know and uh, if you want to go out just type you know Q and that's it yeah 
why that's that happened when I was entering Q. It's interesting. Let's run it again. So Google enter the main Q. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Now we have this this error because we are passing, you know, uh, just a character here, and this script is expecting domain something with the dot in it. Okay, but it will work in in any case. Why is that important? Well, for example, you don't want to you know open all these things here. You just want to go go to it through command prompt terminal or something. So let's actually create. Uh, clear screen stuff OS system and then we will clear screen because we're gonna later go into terminal CLS because I'm on Windows and uh, CMD blah 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 CD Python star that's the place where I have Python and uh, Let's run this script. What was the name of the script? Socket slash, I mean, um, hyphen, get host by name. Which is bad practice, okay? You know, don't don't create your names by, um, as the same as modules and um, functions and classes inside of that script. I was just testing and I know what I'm doing, you know. It's just uh, write it once and delete the script. And that's it. So we have clear screen here. Um, that's it. You know, cool stuff. Q and bang. That's it. Very simple stuff. Now, question: um, Can you have a couple of you know IP addresses in some kind of list, and you want to check them all? Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? So. <coughs> So list will be of domains will contain Google and uh, Yahoo and Bing and uh, yeah I think we are good so let's let's comment this because we don't need it at the moment. So we're gonna use for loop for x, which is every element in this list. Some abstract x for x in uh, lists of domains. We will uh, print um, socket uh, get host by name that specific x, and let's set, let's see what we have. Run module. Fine, so you, you have them. Oh yeah, we need to have some kind of report here. So uh, print IP of domain, which one? Uh, X is socket get host by name X. That's it. Cool. You can also have, I think, a plus here. Let's see. Yeah, cool stuff. So that's about it. Now you can grab this and transfer it to textual file, database, whatever you need. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscriptions, for support, and uh, see you next tutorial.